Yo, what's going on dudes? We're back with another episode in our BT6 playthrough. And for today's episode, we're gonna be taking on a Patches of Cheap Chimps Challenge. Oh my goodness, that's so hard to say. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with our Sada. We'll place our Sada right, um, I think right here should be fine. Maybe I should have placed her a little bit lower down. Actually, before we get too far, I'm gonna go ahead and place Sada a little bit lower. That way she ha she can hit two tracks. There we go. We only have $80,000 to work with. So a couple of strategies that I've thought of is that we could do like a Prince of Darkness uh, first strike combo and i think that would work out pretty well another combo that we could go for is we could go for like attack zone strategy but because we don't have uh pat fussy the attack zone strategy would be lacking pretty bad but because we are on logs i think attack zone strategy would work out pretty well so the first thing i want to do uh, let's go ahead and activate this so we can deal with those green balloons uh man I activated a little bit too soon uh, let's go ahead we'll do a double discount village because we need to save as much money as we possibly can and our sun should be able to last for quite some time all right so there's our first monkey village upgrade to monkey commerce and then what i've been doing is i've been activating sada's level three to kind of make the round shorter but you guys really don't need to worry about activating sada's le level three because i mean like these blues may take a long time to circle around the map so even if you use like a sada's level three mid round you'll pretty much guarantee to have it back uh by the next round i right, so round 20 let's go ahead and buy ourselves another monkey village and guys i know i know we don't really have a solid defense and it's gonna take a long time to uh, beat these first couple of rounds because of how long the track is but again we want to save as much money as we possibly can because we only have eighty thousand dollars to work with all right so round 23 we have our double discount village all right so now that we have the double discount village i'm going to go ahead and grab myself a tax shooter we'll place this tax shooter right here and don't worry too much about the range because once we upgrade the, this village up to primary mentoring and primary training we don't need to worry too much about the range because it will increase the range of this tax shooter oh but you know what i just remembered i don't have the uh tax zone unlocked uh that's not good hmm so i just messed up a little bit by placing down the tag shooter uh let's see here what can i replace the tag shooter with we can replace it with the um glaive lord i think the glaive the glaive lord and the perma charge would work out really well uh so instead of doing the tag shooter let's go ahead and grab ourselves a boomerang monkey luckily we have enough room left here for the boomerang monkey and let's go ahead and upgrade it up to a turbo charge uh but we are going to need to activate sada's level three on round 28 on top of that um i kind of got flustered there for a second so let's go and grab ourselves a alchemist here we'll go ahead and place the alchemist here we'll upgrade or we'll swap it over to targeting strong for the next round and then let's start saving up for a turbo charge i mean obviously this isn't the most uh ideal circumstances here because i originally want to go with the tax zone and like uh the perma charge combo or something along those lines so we'll definitely have to come up with a replacement tower for the uh tax zone i right, so let's go ahead and upgrade this boomerang monkey up to glaives and then we'll save up for a turbo Turbo charge. I right, so round 37. Here's our turbo charge. We have $68,000 to work with here. So with that $68,000, we can buy ourselves an MIB. Um, also with that money, we could grab ourselves a stronger stimulant. We could grab ourselves primary mentoring. Um, let's see here. I right, so we have a $33,000 to work with here. Uh, let's go ahead. The first thing I want to do, I want to grab myself a stronger stimulant because no matter what, that's definitely a tower that we're gonna need. Then to help out our towers a little bit, I also want to grab myself a boomerang monkey i want to upgrade this boomerang monkey up to a more glaives i right, so round 45 here's our more glaives with red hot ranks then uh which one is affecting this one all right let's go ahead we'll upgrade this monkey village up to radar scanner and then we'll upgrade this monkey village up to jungle drums and then let's go ahead and upgrade this monkey village up to primary training now we have a dollars left to work with let's go ahead and save up for our perma charge and then like i was saying i think we're gonna do a perma charge a first strike combo as long as we have enough money left over which i think after we buy our perma charge we're gonna have around eighteen thousand eight hundred and ninety five dollars left so it'll be close but i think we can definitely afford the first strike so i just thought about it and we're definitely not gonna be able to get the first strike now the reason why we won't be able to get the first strike is because if we went for the first strike we wouldn't be able to afford the mib which means that the perma charge wouldn't be able to do a damage to the ddt balloons on round 90 plus so we're gonna have to come up with another tower that should be able to do a lot of damage luckily we are playing on the map logs if this was any other map i think we would have a little bit more of a hard time so once we get the thirty-five we'll buy the perma charge then after that we'll grab 
at the MIB. Then after we grab at the MIB, um, I think we'll grab a couple of the buffing towers instead. So we'll grab like a embrittlement and then we'll also grab ourselves like a middle pathway bomb shooter. Or instead of going for that, we could also go for like a destroyer. I think a destroyer would work out pretty well too. All right, so round 65, let's buy our perma charge. We have $18,000 left to work with. Uh, let's go ahead and save up for the MIB now. Round 69, let's buy our MIB. Round 70, let's buy primary mentoring to give our towers more range. Then we only have $10,000 left to work with. Unfortunately, that means we're not going to be able to get our first strike. But what we can do is we can buy ourselves a ice monkey here and we can buy Embrittle. Oh, uh, no, I don't have Embrittle unlocked. Oh, <laughs> dudes. All right, so we're going to have to do without the Embrittle. Oh, bro. And you don't even get any experience on your towers from this either. That's so dumb. All right, so what other combo can we go with? Uh, we have a $9,620 left to work with after wasting money on the ice monkey. Oh, dudes. Um, first, before I do this, uh, we don't have destroyers, so that combo's out of, out of the question. Um, I guess I'll just think about what towers we can go for. I guess we could go for like a dragon's breath. A dragon's breath would work out pretty well. Um, we could also go for a spike factory because a spike factory might work out pretty well too because we can place it like right here so it will cover all the tracks and it'll have enough time to place down a bunch more uh spikes. Oh, speaking of spikes, we could actually go for the middle pathway spike factory. Oh, we don't have a spike storm. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oh, dudes, never have I ever been so upset and for not having towers unlocked. You know what? Uh, I guess for the only option we really have is to go for the spike factory, the top pathway spike factory. Um, Actually, we have, oh, oh wait, no. Overclock might be a little bit too, too expensive. Uh, 30,000, yeah, we definitely don't have enough money for it. Oh, bro. Well we, well, we have enough money for it, but we can't, we don't have enough money to spend. I think the spike factory is our only option, guys. Like, I was thinking about it. We could grab ourselves like another alchemist. Oh, we could go for Unstable Concoction. Ooh. Unstable Concoction would work out really, really well. Uh, if we bought Unstable Concoction and Spike Balls, we would have enough money. All right, so first thing we'll do, we'll grab a Spike Balls with Fast Production and then even Fast Production. And then we should have just enough money left to get Unstable Concoction with larger potions. And then we'll also grab Acidic Mixture Dip. Okay, this is our this is our combo, guys. So we have a Spike Balls, we have a Perma Charge, we have Unstable Concoction, we have a Stronger Stimulant. Oh, man. Man. Okay, I think this will work. I right, do is around 82. The only thing I'm going to do, be doing from this point on is I'll bring you guys back when we have to activate our perma charge. And if we don't have to activate our perma charge, I'll bring you guys back on round 100. All right, so round 98, we're going to go ahead and activate our turbo charge. Then let's activate Sawdust level 10 to clear out some of these ceramic balloons. All right, so that's round 98 down. And then on round 99, we're going to activate the turbo charge again because these reinforced DDT balloons could give us a little bit of a hard time. And then the only thing left is round 100. So we'll start off by activating Sawdust level 3. Then as soon as our perma charge is off a of cooldown. We'll go ahead and activate it. Let's activate Sada's level three again. Activate perma charge once more. Once the bad balloon's within range of our uh, perma charge again. And the only thing left to do is to deal with these two as UMG. So let's activate Sada's level three. And then by the time that these uh, BFB balloons get within range of our permit charge again, let's go ahead and activate our permit charge ability once more. And there you have it, dudes. That's a super simple chimp strategy for uh, Patches Cheap Chimps Challenge. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys hit that like button, and I'll see you dudes in the next one.